Now, if you will remember, in yesterday's episode, I had said we were going to paint this little part here. And I've got a lot of, in fact, I don't think I've actually used any of this, the uh, white primer from these guys that I can't pronounce the name. Um, Styrenez or something? Anyway, uh, I thought what I'd do is I'd uh, give it a, a coat of this primer and then uh, clean the brush in hot soapy water that I've got ready here. Um, I'm just going to use the brush. Um, it's not worth hooking the airbrush up over. I, I know that this is, is designed to be to be sprayed, but um, I'm just going to try and brush it and see how, how it'll go on. You know, it can't hurt. I'm thinking that because this thing is probably 90% covered with a, uh, um, the C a CA coating, it might be a good idea to put a primer on it. But we'll see. This little jar is uh, almost full. All right, let's see what happens here. It might take a couple of coats of primer. It appears to be sort of beading up on there. This may not have been a good idea. Notice how it's kind of beading there. It's almost like there's little drops of oil or something. Now mind you, this is this is the back. We're going to on the end, you notice it's, I don't know, maybe, maybe the second coat will. Well. Okay, let's just uh, let that dry now. Now I, I do believe that this is water water cleanup. Yeah, it is. Okay, we'll let this dry. Okay. I think that probably most of us can relate to this. You're going to paint the house, the walls in the house, the inside walls, and you're going to do the kids room. Well, the kids with a crayon have drawn pictures on the walls. And you take your uh, paint and your roller and you pass the roller over the over the wall and you cover up the paintings that the kids have uh, drawn and at first it covers up and then after about oh, 30 seconds you sort of notice that you can start to see the the uh, the uh, drawing through the paint and after a couple of minutes it's almost as if you never painted over it at all um, you know and, and I think that's sort of what we've got going on here um, there's something there was something on there that caused the primer to sort of flow off of, almost like there had been little drops of oil or something. Um, now I don't know if there's a thin layer across there. Let's let's take a look at it really, really close and see. Is there a thin layer across there, or did it completely? Uh, yeah. Let's put on the super macro.
Now it's a little bit hard to see here, but I think there is a very, very thin coating of primer over top of those spots. Um, I'm going to look at it through the microscope. I won't hook the camera up, I'm just going to do it and I'll let you know what I see. Okay, I know that I had said I'm not going to hook the camera up to the microscope, but you know what? Uh, we we got nothing else to do here until uh, Cellar Dweller calls, and that's my hope that they're going to be calling today. Um, but I am I I am seeing a very thin, I believe it's a coating, of. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit more here. Okay, yeah, I, I am seeing what, a, what appears to be a very thin coating of primer over top of the CA glue. Now, I can't hook the camera onto this microscope. It just doesn't work well. But it will work mediocre well on this one. Now the the problem is that this one here I can't lower the stage down enough to accommodate something that tall. However, I think that that I can I well I know in fact I know for a fact if I have it like this it will and there are three little little spots right there. And I'm going to try and hook the camera onto this microscope and uh yeah see what we can do like i said i got nothing else to do today anyway okay we're going to try and take a look at this one on the right there's one two three we'll zoom in on this one right here Okay, here's little spot number one. I believe that's number two. And there is number three. Try and get it centered here. Now we want to try and focus in on the surface of that. Well, I don't know. I, I almost think that the paint has completely wicked its way, you might say, off of the surface of that, and there is no, there is no primer whatsoever on the on the surface there. Um, I've got the I've got the top part of the center there in about as in focus as we can get uh, and I'm not seeing anything on it no little okay this is 40 power let's move into a, a hundred power Yeah, there is something on there. Yeah, there's something on the surface. You can you can just make it out. There is a little bit of primer on there. Okay, that's about as sharp as I can get it. Um, all right, let's put on a second coat. Okay, probably could use a lighter brush than this, but... The head of the screw is going to be touching this part anyway. Hoping to get away with just one coat here.
You know, I don't know why I'm going to such an effort. This little small piece, nobody's going to be looking at it. They're going to see it, yes. It's not like I'm painting a part of the model or something. But as I keep saying, I got really nothing else to do here. Okay, let's get the lid on this thing before I spill it. Well, we did not get the call. Yeah. If a uh, seller dweller does call before they they close today, it'll be too late to go and get it. At least for a box opening anyway. Hopefully they'll call before they close today. Now I know how the Maytag repairman felt. Thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.